Okay, so uh, I'm making this final video. The fuel tank I built is uh, it's actually installed. As you can see, it goes underneath uh, the mid deck there. It goes about halfway in the back, and the other half is in the front. Well, 30 inches from this point back is uh, where the end of the fuel tank is, and I've got 15 and a half inches to the front. You can see the gauge now. That mechanical gauge is meant for an 8 inch tank. This tank is only five inches deep, so I had to uh, kind of mark off where you know the the low side is, where it's empty, and then the full side. So I've got uh, a little over half a tank in there. It's got 11 gallons. Um, fuel cap works pretty good. It's uh, large enough to get a standard filler hose in there and fills it. Uh, you can actually see there's uh, can't see, but uh, right here is a float. And the reason why I put the float underneath the fuel tank is uh, sometimes these floats get stuck by pouring fuel on the float. It keeps it free and moving. I've got my vent line right up in the front. As you can see, the vent goes right through the front deck. I've got a hose coming out. Um, I did have a check valve in here. Um, it was causing restriction on uh, the vacuum sides. I've removed it, and what I've installed instead, if you keep following the hose, the hose is going to go up. That is a carbon canister from a Honda CBR motorcycle, and it's venting. Um, that is a new EPA requirement to have one of these canisters, and I can see why. Uh, before I had the canister, I was just looping it outside. Um, and, you know, the fuel vapors were smelling, but canister definitely makes a big difference. It'll uh, keep the fumes in check. But uh, I've already run the boat with it. It runs pretty good. Um, I'm going to be sealing up the back there, using that for storage. I'm, I want to get rid of these two boxes, get some more space in here, but um, give you another peek down there. So the bottom of the tank is sitting right there in the keel. Um, I thought my wires are going to be pinched, but they're not. They actually move pretty freely down there. Um, there's, If any water does get in the bilge, um, it'll still be able to go drain down there. Um, the tank, because the tank is sitting and contacting the boat itself, I didn't add a ground strap. Um, I did add some foam pads in the front here where the front is sitting on foam. Uh, questions, comments, let me know. Like I said, I've already run it. Um, the biggest fear I had was leaks. Um, it's uh, doing pretty good.